the new skills, skills agenda is uh, part of our economic uh, agenda and part of our social agenda. So um, the reason why we both are here talking about the skills agenda is that uh, skills are very important when looking at how we can modernize the European economy. Unfortunately, we are in a situation where, where the whole continent Europe is facing uh, an alarming skills gap. Too many people in Europe have very low basic skills. Too many of our citizens work in a job that do not match their talents or aspirations. And too many Europeans, uh, European employers cannot find people with the right skills to grow and innovate. It's quite striking and shocking that 70 million Europeans are in a situation where they lack of adequate uh, writing and reading skills. 70 million. And at the same time, 40% of our, of our employers say that they cannot find uh, workforce, people who would have uh, adequate skills for grow and uh, innovate. Very much, uh, Jirki. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, indeed, nowadays Europe faces a skills challenge, and as just highlighted by Vice President Katainen, our skills agenda aims at tackling this at European level, working together with member states, social partners, employers, and education establishments to make sure that indeed no one is left behind our social objective, but also to ensure that Europe has the right skills to be competitive in a fast changing world. There are more and more transitions in people's life. Having the right skills can give people the resilience they need to keep up with a fast-changing labour market. I am positive that the skills agenda will help ensure that everyone has access to quality education and training throughout life, starting with a solid level of basic skills on which to build for active participation in society and in employment.